Is it possible to track time for work that isn't associated to an Azure DevOps ID? Yes, it is. As you can see, I'm currently tracking time on documentation update, which has the Azure DevOps ID 92 associated to it. But let's say that I need to make a phone call to a customer. There may not be an Azure DevOps ID associated with this phone call, but the time that's tracked to it is still valuable. So what I first need to do is go to the settings page of 7Pace Time Tracker, click on the rules section, and under tracking details, I need to ensure that always require a work item is not enabled. Now, if I want to start tracking on that phone call to the customer, what I need to do is first clear out that work item field. I can do that by clicking on the X. That clears out the work item field. And now I'm going to add a comment in the comment field. When the work item field is empty, comment field becomes mandatory because there needs to be a way to trace this work log or track of time throughout 7Pace Time Tracker and its reports. I'm going to change the activity type to meeting, and I'm going to start tracking. Tracking has started. Now let's say that this Friday, I plan to take a vacation day. Again, there's no work item ID associated with my vacation day, but again, we want to have the traceability for the time on that vacation day. So I can add time after the fact or in advance via the monthly timesheet, Times Explorer page, or via our app here, which we have a version for Windows and Mac. For the purpose of this example, I'm going to go to the monthly page. I'm going to look ahead to this Friday. I'm going to click on the plus icon. I'm going to leave the work item field empty. Under duration, I'm going to type in eight hours. And in the from and the two fields, I'm going to make this 9 a.m. I'm going to choose vacation day for my activity type. I'm going to add day off in the comment field and I'm going to click save. You can see those eight hours have now been added to this Friday. If I click on the day itself, I can see that the ID is NA and I can also see vacation day and day off in the activity type and comment fields. You've now successfully tracked time and added time on non-DevOps items.